guys here on KSFR 101.1 FM Santa Fe Public Radio. We have a very special lineup of guests that have been looking forward to the show for quite some time. The uh, Social Engagement and Social Practice Art Program at the museum. So basically what we're doing is we're hosting and facilitating a residency program that offers um, at least four Native artists a year um, the opportunity to access our collection, create a socially engaged art piece with the support of the museum, the Institute of the American Indian Arts, and the Santa Fe community at large. My name is Laura Ortman. I'm White Mountain Apache. I live in Brooklyn, New York, and I'm a hairstylist, musician, and artist. With my music, um, I delve into all kinds of different projects, from art installations to collaborations with other artists. My name is Eliza Naranjo Morse. My dad is from Connecticut and uh, has lived in New Mexico since he met my mom, who's from Santa Clara Pueblo. I am an art teacher to children. I am a house builder. I am a farmer. So it's a really wonderful program looking at a very um, kind of new conceptual way of looking at art that really um, connects to the community. Social engagement to me has been um, a great opportunity to you know, work with area local musicians and artists to um, help collaborate with me to get to know a place from the outside. Particularly Native people have a very close history with um, social engagement. I, I believe that um, Native people, pre-contact, post-contact, we're looking at their entire lives as artwork. Well, I've asked um, a, a good handful of local artists and musicians here in Santa Fe to, to collaborate with me for my project. So I'm going to find where they want to record at, come to them or they can come to me or we can meet anywhere and um, just grab some field recordings at least maybe to start with to start a foundation and then they can incorporate their voice, their story, their instruments. I'll finish it. And ultimately, I'm going to com um, combine everyone's pieces together. Um, I'm, I'll probably weave some violin in there and my own field recordings from my experience and time here. <laughs> And the outcome, you know, will be a more um, customized um, soundtrack, if, if you will, of, of Santa Fe. Well, I'm proud of, of this idea that the work isn't necessarily a tangible product. Uh, as an example, I woke up early and picked up my cousin Michaela, who's 11 years old, and brought her back to my house where we uh, plastered an adobe wall. Uh, she's never plastered before, and so to know that because of this project, Michaela will be a 35-year-old woman someday and she will know how to plaster a wall is an important act of, of forward thinking, which I think is an incredible power of social engagement. We welcome Eliza Naranjo Morris, who just finished her II Museum of Contemporary Native Arts Social Engagement Art Residency. For my residency, I made an attempt to highlight and support the unofficial art happening around me. This is Judah LePage. He uh, is a farmer, he's a builder. I wanted to support through my project this incredible piece of uh, machinery and artwork. Oh, we call it a trike, it's technically a tricycle. It's mainly for uh, cultivating the weeds in farm rows. Generally uh, used furrow plows to open the earth and plant seed and then used to close the earth over the seed. Um, the cultivator is generally made out of recycled materials, um, used bicycles. I took some dirt bike parts on um, my office chair. Ladies and gentlemen, I know I can't hear you clapping, but let's have your hand from <laughs> Laurel Horton. After this 
residency capturing like you know a soundtrack or you know um, recordings from a very specific place I would even like take this back with me to New York because I still don't know New York and I don't know what it needs or anything it just seems like a really great way to engage an environment if I go out to Europe or you know South America someday I could bring all my recording stuff and and get to know a place that way too. This began as a very humble idea on my part uh, to create a cart for this socially engaged artwork. We wanted to begin getting our produce out into the world. I feel very excited and very open-minded about what this cart will turn into uh, eventually. Um, I imagine that other people will be able to use it and not necessarily selling vegetables or produce, um, but for some other socially engaged intention that they have. So I, I feel very open to sharing this and making sure that uh, it gets uh, good use out of it. I feel like maybe I'm a, a vessel to help kind of record and also have like a, uh, like a smaller role, but also be like a little carrier for, for all the community people to kind of twirl around and, and make a sound, you know, that represents their, their place. I think this is a universal concept that I'm, I'm hoping I'm beginning to find more and more important and this is the point for me to be so excited about sharing it because it's not in the end about this place. Um, it's about uh, human beings recognizing how valuable they are. That was absolutely beautiful.